Exoplanets are all those planets that are outside our solar system. For a long time, we didn't know much about other planets. They are simply too small on a cosmic scale to see with simple telescopes. Only since 1995 have we had the technology to detect planets outside our own star system. Since then, telescopes have been increasingly improved, and the Kepler Space Telescope was the first telescope dedicated solely to the search for exoplanets from 2009 to 2018. Today, we know for sure of the existence of about 5,000 exoplanets, and more are being discovered every year. There are probably several billion planets throughout the Milky Way, and about 300 million of them may resemble Earth. So far, researchers found 24 planets which resemble our homeland and could offer on top of it even better living conditions. In the technical world, these planets are called superhabitable or super inhabitable. What distinguishes these planets, why they are even better suited for the emergence of life than our home planet, and how these planets look, we'll take a look at in this video. First, however, we would like to invite you to actively participate following this video. From now on, all particularly striking, beautiful, and interesting comments from our subscribers will be rewarded with a heart and we will pin your important contribution to the topic at the top for all to see. Make sure you're already subscribed to our channel and note that at the beginning of your comment and give the video a like. We're already looking forward to your active participation. The Search for New Earths What actually drives us humans to search the cosmos for planets that resemble our Earth? Well, this question can be answered quite simply. We want to know if we are the only living beings on a green-blue water planet, or if there are other life forms in space similar to ours. So far, we have not found any in our own solar system. Not a single other planet shows traces of organic life so far. For us humans, it's a strange feeling to be all alone in a universe that seems infinite, or at least huge. According to many scientists, this is not possible at all. That means, somewhere, there must be other planets with good living conditions and life forms in different stages of development. Proof or clear indications for it do not exist so far, however. To find out where in the universe other life could be found, we have to look for other planets. Since 1995, about 5,000 exoplanets have been detected. Of these, by no means are all Earth-like. Many of these planets are gas giants like Saturn or Jupiter. Some are ice planets or hellishly hot worlds. Among all the planets outside our own solar system, however, several rocky planets have been identified so far that move in the so-called habitable zone of their stars. Habitable means that the distance between star and planet is large enough to protect the planet from excessive radiation from the star. And yet, the exoplanet must be close enough to its source of light and heat to have the basis for organic life. The basic conditions further require the presence of certain elements and minerals in addition to heat, light, and water. Last but not least, time also plays a decisive role. Our own development has taught us that it takes several billion years until life can actually form on a planet that offers the appropriate conditions. Therefore, we do not even need to search in young star systems. Over the last decades, researchers have established exact criteria which planets could be home to life, and they have even found some exoplanets, which very likely offer even better living conditions than the Earth. The Super Habitable Worlds A team from Washington State University in the U.S spent years looking for evidence of worlds that are slightly older, slightly larger, warmer, and wetter than Earth in all the data collected so far. Another criterion for the superworld was the star, systems with G-stars, which, like our Sun, have a comparatively short lifetime or less than 10 billion years, are considered less optimal. Much better suited are systems with somewhat smaller K-dwarf stars, which can live 20 to 70 billion years. The long lifetime of the star could favor the uniform development of super-civilizations. Our Earth is thought to be 4.5 billion years old. First life developed about 3.5 billion years ago. Humans have probably existed in their primordial forms for just under 1 million years. It has taken us a very long time to become a technologically advanced society, and at present, 
It's unclear where we can go if we do not solve our energy problem or if our Earth becomes unbalanced. According to scientists, a very technologically advanced life form could have evolved on a 5 to 8 billion year old planet. Of course, we humans also look for extraterrestrial worlds in order to find one day, perhaps an alternative planet, if the conditions in our solar system make life slowly impossible, that we will be so far in at the latest 3 to 4 billion years. We now take a closer look at 8 of the 24 potentially super-inhabitable worlds. KOI 5554.01 KOI 5554.01 is only recently listed by NASA as a possible super-inhabitable planet. This planet is about 1.29 times the size of our Earth. At 6.5 billion years old, KOI 5554.01 is slightly older and may have had enough time to transform into a life-friendly world. Average temperatures are probably 26.17 degrees, which would be optimal. Proxima b Proxima b is the closest exoplanet to Earth. It's located about four light years from Earth. On Proxima b, a year lasts only a few days because it orbits its star at only a few million kilometers. However, the star Proxima Centauri has much less luminosity than our Sun, so Proxima b is nevertheless in the zone that would allow vegetation and life. Whether such a planet would provide a stable climate and seasons is unclear at this time. In 2020, astronomers observed a gigantic solar eruption in the Proxima system that directed a 4,000-fold increase in particle flux to Proxima b in a very short time. Since then, researchers have doubted that this world can truly be habitable. Gliese 667 cc Gliese 667 cc is about 23.62 light years from us and orbits a red dwarf. Since this is part of a trinary star, potential inhabitants of this exoplanet would see three suns in the sky. At about 3.7 Earth masses, Gliese 667 cc is very likely a rocky planet and would be a truly optimal world in terms of size. The planet also receives almost as much energy from its star as we do from the sun. If researchers were now able to detect detect an atmosphere, there would be a very high probability that Gliese 667 cc is a super-inhabitable planet. Kepler 45 2b Kepler 45 2b is about 60% larger than Earth. However, the determined data on the planet's mass allow conclusions that it's a rocky planet despite its size. The associated star is almost identical with our Sun. However, it's a star with a comparatively short lifetime, and since Kepler 452 is already a few billion years older than our Sun, it could soon develop into a red giant. Even if the planet Kepler 45 2b is now a habitable wilt, the living conditions in this star system would then become worse and worse until the star finally explodes and destroys everything in its vicinity. Teagarten C Teagarten C is the fourth closest potentially habitable exoplanet at 12 light years away. It was discovered not by the Kepler telescope, but in 2019 by the Calar Alto Observatory in Spain. Teagarten C appears to be made of rock and to have an iron core. However, its star does not give off quite as much heat and the average surface temperature could be as low as negative 47 degrees Celsius if the planet does not have a particularly distinctive atmosphere. If Teagarden C has a thick atmosphere, the average temperature rises to about negative 18 degrees. This is slightly colder than the average temperature of Greenland, but would mean that there could be a short vegetation period. Perhaps, completely different creatures live in such worlds, perfectly adapted to the cold climate. Water, and with it the basic building block of life, would be present on this planet in sufficient amounts. Gliese 832c only a stone's throw away from Teagarden, we already have the next potentially superhabitable planet. Gliese 832c orbits its star closer than our Earth orbits the Sun, but due to the size and luminosity of its star, temperatures on this planet are still Earth-like. For a long time, Gliese 832c was considered the hottest candidate in the race for super-Earths. But then researchers noticed a crucial drawback. The planet very likely orbits its star in a bound orbit, which means one side is always dark and cold, and the other bright and possibly too warm for life. Calculations showed that there could be a narrow strip at the threshold between the day and night sides that provides optimal conditions for life. 
Kepler 442b. Kepler 442b was discovered by the telescope of the same name on January 6, 2015, and immediately caused a sensation. No other had been such a promising candidate before. The star that Kepler 442b orbits is much younger than our Sun, with an age of about 2.9 billion years. It's unlikely that advanced life already exists on this exoplanet. However, life could be evolving, and one day this planet could be an optimal world for humans as well. A year lasts 120 12 days on this world, and with about 11% less heat, the climate is also probably similar to Earth. Ross 128b About 11 light-years away in the constellation Virgo, researchers found the exoplanet Ross 128b. Thus, this planet belongs to the superworlds closest to Earth, and also Otherwise, this planet raises again hopes for life in the universe. The red dwarf star Ross 128 gives its planet about 38% more light than we get from the sun. This could be optimal if the atmosphere is dense enough. However, this is precisely the point on which scientists on Earth are still struggling. Only the new James Webb Space Telescope will be able to scan the immediate environment of exoplanets for the first time, and thanks to vastly improved technology, James Webb will be able to measure the presence of certain gases in distant worlds. These data will allow conclusions to be drawn about the presence and composition of an exoplanet's atmosphere. Better exploration of potentially inhabited planets is among the new telescope's primary missions. The first measurement data already showed that James Webb will fully fulfill this mission. In September 2022, the telescope took its first close look at an exoworld with HIP 65426b and delivered fascinating images. Thanks to special light filters, certain gases and elements become visible. However, HIP 65426b is not a potentially inhabited exoplanet. It has about 6 to 12 times the mass of Jupiter, making it most definitely a gas giant. It is currently unknown when James Webb will scan the first potential super worlds, but you can be sure that we will all Always keep you up to date. We thank you for watching, look forward to your comments, and wish you a good time. We'll see you next time at Simply Space.